What is up, guys? I'm Mikeia31 here, Madden17. You know, I'm not a great player. I'd consider myself in that um, above average to good category. And, you know, truth be told, in this game, you know, how good you're going to get is going to be determined by how much you're going to bastardize the game and goon things up. Because what happens when you play the game and you try to uh, play it quote-unquote the right way or clean or pure or whatever you want to call it, no matter how good you are at that, you're going to hit a wall at some point. You're going to get to a point where you're running into guys and you're playing bringing a knife to a gunfight. And for me, that happened when I hit that top 150 to top 120 phase. I was always, I would always kind of plateau in that range, 120 to 150, and then kind of just hit a wall. And then I said, screw it, I'll just start mixing in some edge glitches here and there now. Motion snap a guy at a bunch of snugs here and there. And then boom, shot up, you know, 50 spots or so, and broke through that 120 to 150 barrier. And, you know, along the way, I've played some very good players, some good players, some average players, some really bad players. A lot of really bad players. And bad players tend to have a couple of things in common. Z Farrells did a video last year talking about the top mistakes that bad players do. And I figure I'd do a little one this, for this year. You know, the things that bad players do. Bad players... Um, to borrow a Gibbsism, they don't do anything. <laughs> and what I mean by that is that they're really vanilla and predictable, and there's no real discernible thought process to what they're trying to do. When they want to run the ball, they're going to come out in I form twins and run power every single time. When they want to pass a ball, they'll always pass out a shotgun every single time. They won't ever break tendency. Under tenor I formation, run. Shotgun, pass. And when they really want to pass, they'll go empty. And what they tend to do is that they'll um, take some things that, they, they, that they've seen guys from Twitch and YouTube uh, do that work, and they'll just lock on and just mindlessly spam it. They're going to come out in split close, HB wheel, and god damn it, they're going to throw that post route to Julio Jones or Randy Moss, and that's all there is to it. They've seen their favorite YouTuber or Twitch channel do it, so why not do it too? And right on cue, here we go, split close, I'm going to spotlight the solo receiver there, and what's going to happen is that when you take away, they'll make at most two reads. And when the two reads are gone, it's panic time. They don't know what to do. They'll start drifting back into the pocket or scrambling wide and roll themselves into contains and blitzes. What they also do is that when one of their reads work, they think it's going to work all the way down the field. Like, I took away both those reads that time. He didn't know what to do, and he ran right into Joy Bosa on a contain. Third and two, he's in nine formation. He's going to run power, so I'm just going to crash downhill with my safety, get my hit stick on, fumble. He's not doing anything or stashing anything that will make me think, okay, he might be doing this if he play that. And because of that, you know, I can just play fast and loose. When I, when I read it, I can just go, because I know he's not going to be able to adapt once what's being taken away is gone. On defense, what they tend to do is either play hyper-aggressive and just mindlessly nickel blitz or um, buck slant blitz, or they'll be hyper-conservative. Just play cover two sink, um, cover four drop, rush three, rush two, with the same adjustments made each time to what they're doing, so that, again, it becomes predictable, and once you catch on to um, how many guys are dropping off the line of scrimmage and where they're dropping them off to, you can systematically pick them apart that way. And again, they don't ever switch it up. They don't ever recognize, okay, uh, this ain't working. I'm just getting sliced apart down the field. Let me do something, anything different, just to kind of make them think about something else. 
They just keep on doing it. And then they complain about the game and how they can't stop anything. So here I am, up 10-0. And I, another thing that bad players do is that once they fall down early by two scores or so, they want to try to get all of it back on one play or in one possession. There's no such thing as a 14-point touchdown. Instead of trying to stabilize the game, establish a rhythm, and if nothing else, just try to get the zero off the scoreboard. Even if it's just, even if it's just three points, just so you can have something positive go in your favor, they want to get it all back right now. Oh, God, I hate Honey Badger. I am so done with Honey Badger. He is just the epitome of everything that is wrong with man coverage. Has all the ratings and physical attributes to be a great man coverage defender, but he just gives up separation all the time because of how the man coverage mechanics work in this game. Again, I wants to go back to split. Reads are covered, doesn't know what to do, forces it to the second read, nothing. So yeah, and again, what do you think is gonna happen here? I brought Nico Blitz too. I had a spy sitting there as well as another guy dropping back on that side. Just snap and fire. So this drive is going to either end one of three ways, no doubt in my mind. Either with a sack fumble, an INT, or a turnover on downs. Split close again. I have what I'm pretty sure are going to be his first two reads cross manned. I'm just going to kind of roll him with my safety here, you know, within reason. And again, he just forces it. And it's IMT. That's what bad players do. They just want to try to play that game on autopilot, copy what they see on Twitch and YouTube, but with no real thought behind it. And as a result, they get sacked, they fumble, they throw turnovers... They fall behind, rage quit, and get frustrated. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you all later. Peace.